నా ఛానల్ లేదా ఫైవ్ మినిట్ ఫైవ్ మినిట్ హార్ట్ క్లాసెస్ అండ్ హియర్ దిస్ క్లాస్ బి వి రీడ్ అబౌట్ ఏటో వెంచుకులర్ బ్లాక్స్ దేర్ ఆర్ త్రీ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఏటో వెంచుకులర్ బ్లాక్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ డిగ్రీ ఏటో వెంచుకులర్ బ్లాక్ ద సెకండ్ డిగ్రీ ఏటో వెంచుకులర్ బ్లాక్ అండ్ థర్డ్ డిగ్రీ ఏటో వెంచుకులర్ బ్లాక్ విచ్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ ఎస్ అ కంప్లీట్ హార్ట్ బ్లాక్ ద సెకండ్ డిగ్రీ ఏటో వెంచుకులర్ బ్లాక్ ఇస్ ఫర్దర్ క్లాసిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎ మొబిట్స్ టైప్ వన్ అండ్ ఎ మొబిట్స్ టైప్ టూ లెట్స్ సీ హౌ యాక్చువల్లీ ద ఫస్ట్ డిగ్రీ ఏటో వెంచుకులర్ బ్లాక్ లుక్స్ లైక్ ఫస్ట్ వీ హ్యావ్ ద పి వేవ్ డీపోలరైజేషన్ and then we have a prolonged pr interval and then the qrs depolarization and then the t wave repolarization what what is very clearly seen here is the prolonged pr interval the normal pr interval begins from the beginning of the p wave to the beginning of the qrs complex which is around 0.12 seconds to 0.2 seconds a prolonged pr means that it is more than 0.20 seconds so the first degree av block has only a prolonged pr interval the second degree av block has got further two classifications of mobitz type 1 and mobitz type 2 the mobitz type 1 is also called as a wenckebach phenomenon let's see how the wenckebach phenomenon looks like the wenckebach phenomenon has got a progressively prolonged pr interval with a drop in the qrs complex and then this cycle actually repeats let's see how it looks like first there is a p wave depolarization followed by the pr interval which is slightly prolonged and then the qrs depolarization and then the t wave repolarization in the second beat we have the p wave depolarization for the prolongation of the pr interval with the qrs depolarization and then the t wave repolarization in the third beat we have the p wave depolarization for the more prolonged pr interval and then the qrs depolarization and then the t wave repolarization in the fourth beat what happens is the p wave depolarizes but the qrs drops there is a drop in the qrs complex and the t wave also drops in the fifth beat in the fifth beat what happens is the p wave depolarizes and the qrs comes closer and the pr interval is shortened as in the first beat and then the qrs depolarizes and then the t wave repolarizes this cycle is been repeated where there is a drop in the qrs complex every every fourth beat second degree av block has a further classification of a mobitz type 2 the mobitz type 2 let's see how the mobitz type 2 behaves first there is a p wave depolarization and then there is a pr interval which is fixed which is mostly normal and then the qrs depolarization and then the t wave repolarization in the second beat again the p wave depolarizes with a fixed pr interval then the qrs depolarizes and then the t wave repolarizes in the third beat the p wave depolarizes but the qrs drops and in the fourth beat in the fourth beat the p wave depolarizes with again a fixed pr interval and then the qrs depolarizes and then the t wave repolarizes so this actually continues this actually continues but here the classical feature is that there is a fixed pr interval with a drop in the qrs complex the third degree hard block is also called as a complete hard block in which the p wave and the qrs complex don't coordinate with each other the p wave fires at a very high rate and the qrs complex fires at a different rate the p wave or the qrs complex doesn't wait for the p wave to fire so let's see the demonstration of the complete hard block the p wave depolarizes and then the qrs depolarizes and then the p wave and then the qrs okay so it's basically an erroneous erratic uh, heart rhythm in which no nobody listens to each other so the ventricle contracts at a different rate and the atria contracts at a different rate anyways thanks for watching uh, thanks for watching this channel please subscribe this channel uh and uh, please like the video if you like this and please watch out for more updates thank you